Good Tuesday morning, everybody. 28th day of June, 2022. Yes, I'm back down at Cross Creeks this morning. I hope you guys don't get too bored with coming down here. There's quite a few different little trips we can make at different water levels, and that's kind of why I'm down here today. Take advantage of the high water. And uh, video before last there, I hope you guys enjoyed the last video there from 2020. It was only a year off, right? <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to take advantage of the water being up to go back to the creek up here. Oh, I really don't know how far I'm going to be able to go. Could be log jams, could just be washed where I can't get through. But we're going to see. Right behind me is the little bay that I was talking about. I think it's the smallest one. And you can kind of see along the shoreline over here. Pretty good fishing up in here, I would imagine. Maybe some smallmouth when it's the right time. Right now, we still got gar. So there was a few folks down around the boat ramp, so I just came on out here. I'm about a quarter mile or so from the boat ramp across from the uh, islands. Kind of going to be headed almost into the wind on the way up there but that should be nice on the way back once i get up uh, in the creek itself that must have been pretty good size once i get up in the creek itself i'll probably be kind of sheltered from the wind today muskrat i won't be able to get a shot of them but i'll show you the muskrat holes over there along the wall Thanks for coming along. Another day just to hang out. Not sure on the time time frame. I keep splashing around. Just enjoy, relax. Uh, it's only supposed to be somewhere between 81 and 86 degrees today. It's not bad right now. It's in the 70s right now. And it was a brisk 62 at my house this morning. Not bad, but uh, you got to remember tomorrow and day after tomorrow. Back up close to 100 again. Thanks for coming. Stick around. I don't know. We'll just kind of see what happens when we get up the creek. It's going to be a nice day on the water either way. Finally got over to some calm air. Somehow or other, somewhere along the way, I picked up a tail. Not sure. We'll find out here in a minute. We're going to ease on back around this way. We've kind of got an island out in front of us, and there's an island right over here that we're right beside right now. And we're going to go up one side and see if we can't come back the other. We may run out of wind when we get right back here in this corner. Looks warm. We've come up to a spot here uh, that is another island out there in front of us. You could go that way right now with the water up, but the main body of the creek goes this way. 
This is Ed and Chantel. They're with me today, and we'll catch up with them here in just a minute or two. Right now, I'm heading a little bit more for the shade up there. Yeah, really. <laughs> oh. This is kind of one of them days where going the wrong way is not a bad thing. We're just a little ways. We're probably not an eighth of a mile up in the creek. Lots of slides, and as Ed was just noticing, there's lots of places to go camping, especially on that side. I don't know about this side over here. What you got over there, big fish? <laughs> I just wanted to get a shot of the logs under the water here. <laughs> it looks kind of uh, swampy. Back, uh, back in the jungle like here, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Not much wind right here. Water's mighty slow moving where it's been moving a bit, so we may be coming up on a log jam here shortly. Drafts just a little bit deeper than we do. <laughs> oh, okay. That'll work. You shouldn't have no trouble coming right across it. Come up on a spot here that uh, is going to be a portage for me. I'm going to have to get out of the boat because mine's too long to try to drag that with me in it. I think these guys will probably get along okay. Really, really cool spot back here. We've got enough wind to keep us cooled off. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to get out and carry over. Portage, as it were. Well, that wasn't too bad, little matey. And my longboat don't like to turn. But we're up just a little bit past that right now.
Well, boys and girls, I'm not sure. <laughs> we may come to a uh, standstill here just a little bit. I don't know that uh, there's a whole lot of needing going much further today. We're quite a ways back up in here. But this is definitely a portage. You can't, can't really see it on the camera, I don't imagine, but the water level is probably a foot difference right here. And then on up there just another little bit, it's the uh, same thing. My kayak's too long for these little <laughs> turns and bends. Hey, you have to excuse my voice here for a minute. <laughs> Sinus is draining today. I think you may be able to see the difference in the height of water. Nice little stream. I believe this is North Cross Creeks. Not sure. But we're not going to try to go any further today. I think it's probably 10, 1030, something like that. Was in the water there again about 7.30 this morning. So let me turn around and uh, catch up with these guys. Get me a, get me a drink of green tea here. Whether I caught it in time or not. <laughs> As you can almost see right here, this is a little blue hole. And you got to go through a little narrow right there. It drags a little bit, especially with a uh, long boat like mine. So let me get going. We're, uh, we're at the moment trying to get Ed back in front of us. As you noticed on the way up, we had him get in the front so that uh, Chantel and I would know when we could go through. And I'm fixing to run into a tree. You know, folks, that was a really nice ride back up in the creek. I believe that's North Cross Creek. Not sure. Nice place anyway. When the water's up like it is now, uh, I think you would have had a little bit of trouble a little sooner than we did if the water level wasn't so high. These guys use the boat ramp up here at this end, and we're not too far from it. Uh, I'm going to catch up with them. And then I'll be paddling back down another three quarters of a mile to the other boat ramp. Great day. Can you hear the wind? We sure can feel it. And right now it is probably 80, 82. Somewhere around noon. I think. This is the other ramp up here that uh, I generally don't come to because it's shorter for me to come from the other direction or coming from the other direction it's easier for me to get to the ramp down there i'm going to pull up over here and uh, say our alohas and then i'll get back to you guys down on the uh, other end of this trip somewhere
Good paddle, guys. We'll do it again shortly. The dragonfly about towed you off, didn't it? <laughs> you guys will kind of have to forgive this shot. I really don't have a mouth that works good while I'm paddling. I'll try not to shake you around too much. The wind is still at my back. Uh, that was kind of a fun paddle with those guys, Ed and Chantel. We'll probably be coming out again for long. It's that time of year for me, anyway. I hope the wind's not tearing it up too bad. This is kind of the only time I could film or record. Wind's blowing maybe 15. Well, you can kind of see the water behind me. I'm traveling along just about the speed of the waves. Not getting in no hurry today. And just before I turned the camera on, one of those gar, about 10 feet off the side of the boat here, come completely out of the water after something. And I about left the boat on this side. Hadn't had one of them do that in a while. Or the carp either. Uh, not sure if I, how far I got to go here. But uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and get to paddling and quit clapping my lips. Hey, the wind brought me all the way back. The ramp's not looking too bad today. Wind coming right into it right now. Well, that was a nice kayak. That was a really nice paddle, everybody. Glad those guys came down today and met up with me. <laughs> a, little, a little bit warm. I'm going to get over here to the truck and move it down to the ramp since there's uh, absolutely nobody else here but me. And uh, just want to thank you guys for coming along. Appreciate you. Really do. Nice time. I got about an hour's ride to get back to the house. And the overcast is 85. Don't make a bad day down here, does it? Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be coming back down here for several reasons. It's not all that far from the house. It's not crowded. And there's plenty of places to kayak down here. Till next time, everybody. Just waiting for the next big adventure. <laughs>